Hello, I am Zahir Alam. Welcome you all on Frankly Speaking. Our guest today is His Excellency Mr. Anwar Choudhury, outgoing British High Commissioner to Bangladesh, the first senior British ambassador from a British Asian background and also one of the youngest to achieve this level of posting. He is the first Muslim in British Foreign Service as well. Anwar Choudhury started his career in industry as a design engineer. This was followed by the Royal Air Force and Ministry of Defense. Then he moved to Cabinet Office and finally Foreign and Commonwealth Office before taking up his posting as High Commissioner to Bangladesh in May 2004. He witnessed many events in socio-economic and political life of Bangladesh during his tenure. He worked relentless to forge better relations and is immensely fond of Bangladesh and the Bangladeshi people, the country of his birth. We take a special pride as he is now on our show. Excellency Anwar Chaudhary, welcome on Frankly Speak. Thank you very much. Uh, we know that you're now uh, uh, outgoing High Commissioner in yes, Bangladesh, yes. and you are going to have an, another new assignment in the UK. Yes. So, um, but a uh, lot of people expected that the uh, you would have stay a uh, little longer, uh, <laughs> especially uh, at the end of this year. We expect a yes. uh, election. Yes. So, um, uh, what is your feeling about that? That you are leaving Bangladesh? Well, it's was always going to be sad to leave Bangladesh, and I really appreciated the many requests from um, ordinary people, civil society, and indeed the um, you know, people in government uh, who wanted me to stay even longer. I've done four years in, in Bangladesh, um, one year. With one year extension. <laughs> with one year extension. Okay. Uh, but all good things must come to an end. And I think my government was um, you know, very sympathetic to that request. Um, but I have a, a new post now, which is critical. Okay. Uh, it's a senior diplomatic post, um, I think, as you uh, as you know, and it's uh, a top priority in for foreign my and commonwealth office. In the foreign office, yes, okay. uh, in the foreign office. I'm Back in home. Uh, yes, in London, uh, and I'm responsible for the reform uh, and relationship with the international institutions. So, the United Nations. Okay. Uh, I'm responsible for the United Nations, NATO, uh, Commonwealth, um, uh, World Bank, G8. Uh, the list goes, and all the international. Um, uh, architecture, if you like, uh, as well as the um, uh, some aspects of the relationship with the United States. So it's uh, unfortunately that is a, an urgent job uh, that they need me to do um, back in London. Uh, I'm immensely privileged to to have got this role. Uh, it's the one I wanted, but unfortunately, it means that I can't stay longer. But it's you know I've been here four years. I've um, you talked about some of that. Um, so uh, uh, no. there are a lot of priority ahead of you, your, na your government also, yes. and a lot of important assignment you do have. Yes. But um, you did have also some lot of uh, important task in Bangladesh, especially yes. forging better relations. Yes. So would you focus on that? Yes. Well, I think we've achieved that. The the relationship with Bangladesh and the United Kingdom now is at a completely at a new height. Um, our prime minister, your chief advisor. And even governments uh, before that uh, have acknowledged that our relationship is now a special one. Mm -hmm. It's completely transformed uh, over the last four years. We've now moved on to a relationship where we engage with you on just about everything. We see Bangladesh as a partner, a, an equal partner, okay. that we want to work with, um, not only here in Bangladesh and the UK in our bilateral relationship, but also in the international arena and in international institutions. Mm -hmm. So I'm extremely proud. Um, and I know Bangladeshi people also tell me just how pleased they feel uh, at the new special heightened relationship between the uh, between our two two countries. So um, that, that, that's a good thing, and it's a, it's maybe the right time to allow uh, others to take this even further. So can you uh, name up some of the major areas of developmental assistance uh, or uh, uh, relations bilaterally? Sure, there's there's many. Um, uh, let me let me start off with development. Okay. Um, uh, we've now, over the last four years, become the largest donor to Bangladesh. We've increased aid by over 50 percent, and that will continue to increase uh, even further. Um, our cooperation with you on counterterrorism is extremely uh, strong. Uh, our trade has now gone up uh, by 25 percent. Okay. Uh, investments um, 
are at her uh, all-time high and lots of investment waiting to come in. Our people-to-people -people relationship uh, is extremely strong. Why you said the waiting to come in? What, what is the reason not to, not, not to come right this moment? Well, a um, lot of um, the, the environment is still isn't as, as good conducive. as Conducive. It's still not conducive okay. um, because the, uh, the permissions, uh, the uh, rules and regulations uh, that needs to be lightened uh, and the environment enabled for, for investment is still not, um, still not right. Uh, there is much investment in the energy sector, in the power sector, in all sorts of other areas that if we had a more business friendly um, sort of uh, attempt at um, improving all of this, this would, um, this, this would come How much in. money is in pipeline to invest in Bangladesh? Uh, I, I think it, it varies from time to time, but I, at least uh, another three billion. Three billion. Three billion. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, 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 two billion in energy and one billion elsewhere. What is the existing figure in, uh, figure of investment in Bangladesh? Uh, it's, uh, it's three billion. Three billion. Cumulative. Cumulative. Yeah. Three billion and three billion also is in yeah, pipeline. So you could double the investment okay. in, 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 in Bangladesh. So do you think that Bangladesh has immense potential uh, in terms of having or attracting I foreign don't investment? Think that. I I believe that. That's why. Um, and the UK believes that, and Bangladeshis believe that, and that's why I worked so hard in the last four years um, to try and get this potential released. Uh, potential is one thing, you've got to turn it into action and energy. And uh, that's why it's been um, you know, such an interesting time. Uh, I know it's there, um, uh, there is no doubt. You know, when you look around the world, when you look at the potential of the people of Bangladesh, as you see them around the world, uh, you can't be in no doubt. It's, it's a matter of achieving this, what's known as the tipping point, uh, for things to start flooding in. Countries achieve it uh, sometimes very quickly, and everything falls in place. Vietnam has just achieved that tipping point, where up to a, you know, up to a stage, investment was trickling, and then suddenly everything comes together and it pours in. Now, Bangladesh needs four or five areas where it makes a huge success of itself. Um, it attracts um, people from abroad, uh, especially uh, the Bangladeshi, what you call NRBs. NRBs, um, yeah. But I call sort of people of Bangladesh origin living in other countries yeah. in the diaspora. Um, if you get, say, about 50 or 60 of those people who have access to markets, uh, who have the knowledge, who have the investment uh, sort of capital, uh, you can start off various sectors and turn them into successes. And we're seeing some of that uh, in Bangladesh where people are coming back, people who are leaders um, in that sector, in banking or pharmaceuticals or whatever it is, and starting in Bangladesh. Now, if you can capitalize on that, get that really going and support that, as well as in improving the investment. But where the barrier lies with the barrier the lies thing. in uh, culture, uh, barrier lies in government, barrier lies in image, uh, uh, in in, uh, in vision, the, uh, and uh, also image. How do you look at the thing of political reform in Bangladesh, uh, and how it, it can be materialized? It can be translated into reality. Well, first of all, reform is a good thing. It's a natural thing for people to survive, for institutions to survive, for anybody to improve. You change. Reform means change. Uh, and change for the better so that it's more fitting the new environment. Uh, and it's not just political reform. Political reform, I think everybody has talked about. You need to make um, all the institutions of democracy more democratic, mm -hmm. more efficient, more effective, including the political parties uh, gain more legitimacy by being themselves very democratic uh, and having internal democracy. Um, as well. So those reforms, I think, of people understand, you know, uh, the need to take money and muscle mm. out of politics mm. so good people can rise to the top. Everybody can get to the top. That is very important. So did you observe any beginning of that thinking that the uh, real uh, reform takes place or yeah. some uh, some uh, practical measures uh, have well, been taken? Well, I think those are coming. I mean, from what we hear, and, you know, you need to ask the uh, caretaker government yeah. and election commission in particular, that reforms on the political side are uh, now being um, sort of finalized uh, with discussion with the political parties to see what changes can be made. And, you know, it's a natural, natural process. Uh, but there is reforms in other sectors that is equally important. It's mm -hmm. not just politics. Uh, reform in the civil service is absolutely crucial. Um, 
our civil service, my civil service, which I've spent most of my life in over 20 years, you know, we've gone through many uh, basic changes. We changed from um, a service that was based on administrating things, you know, signing files and, and, and all that sort of nonsense, to delivering from a administration service to a delivery service. Okay, and that's the modern kind of civil service. They are there uh, as servants of the public to deliver an outcome for the country and for the people. Now, the civil service you have uh, in this hmm. country... Uh, are they in a position to take, to lead well, the Bangladesh? They, no, they, they must. They must because they are the public servants. And they are paid by the public. And But the civil service you have ha was uh, sort of set in the British area, uh, you know, 200 years ago. That was a different planet, okay? The world has changed so many times. So how can you expect a civil service with that sort of culture, with those Mindset, assumptions, yeah. to be useful in today's world? You can't, it's obviously you can't. So you've got to get the public services up to the 21st century, focus them on delivery, reward them on delivery, mm -hmm. and not just on qualifications and people's titles and, you know, um, sort of just administration capability. Delivery. It's delivery, delivery, delivery. And so that reform is crucial because political parties come and go. It, your basic infrastructure is the institutions, including the civil service or the public service. And that obviously includes Did police Did you see as any well. changes in civil service? Not the enough. No. Uh, so how they will cope uh, with the situation? Well, they have, uh, well um, you know, frankly speaking, your, yeah. your, your program, <laughs> uh, there has to be a radical rethink of that. We, from the UK, we are providing uh, quite a lot of training uh, to get top civil servant um, capacity to do these things. But Bangladeshi civil servants are clever people. It's not the capacity that's the problem. It's the culture. It's the culture and it's the kind of willpower and it's all the assumptions and, and the leadership that is the problem. So that has to... Leadership in terms of political leadership? No, civil service. Civil service. Indeed. Civil service okay. uh, actually realizing uh, that it needs to, needs to change if it's, if it's serious about serving the nation, serving the public. So those reforms, I think, are absolutely crucial because that's where the delivery capacity of the of the country is and there's another thing you know when we went through civil service reform in our country we found a lot of the processes didn't need tuning making better they just needed deleting because they're irrelevant and they're becoming ways of obstructing business ways of stopping people achieving uh, what they want to achieve so instead of helping people there was completely the opposite so and rather than ref reform them delete them get rid of them and that should be the job of the reform uh, sort of commission, you know, to see how many laws do you need. Government is there to provide an infrastructure, not to maximize every law and make sure it's implemented to the nth detail. That is just job creation. And it also feeds corruption. The more decisions you give to the public sector, the more scope there is for corruption. Because every decision can be exchanged for money. You see, and that's what happens in, in many countries. You know, it's not just Bangladesh. So the way to faster investments, better public service, okay, better civil service, has to be in getting the regulations down to a minimum, changing the culture, making sure young people who are talented go up the service fast, uh, get to top position when they're young and ready to contribute so you don't have to wait until they're mm. 65 or 58 or whatever it is that you uh, that you have now. Allowing talent to rise up. This batch system but, you but have. But that's it, not it, good. I've said it in Bangladesh. No, but when you said that you said the reform of civil service, but what do you think civil service? Government and civil service leadership. Is there a permanent secretary? Is there a cabinet secretary? Is there a public service commission? Is there a regulation reformer committee? Is there a lot of Government or daito, ebang public or daito, jee civil service or other servant. Ami hoyla, ekchon a ordinary nagori ker gulam servant. Well, that's what it means. Public service, public servant. A culture tante hobe. Apnar ki mana hoy? Shorting bhabe ekte nirbachon, aaj be ebang Bangladesh rajnitik dolgulo jee samoshani alochna hoye chile atu din. Tara shei avostha ni jeder ki ki dekte pabe ekte nirbachon ei modhu diye jekta nothun Bangladesh, nothun chinta, nothun shopne Bangladesh diye ki tarai gude parbe. I'm Rasha Kuri Prentishabe.
আশা করি যে আপনারা এই অপরচুনিটিটা লস করবেন না এই অপরচুনিটিটা সবের পলিটিক্যাল পার্টির गवर्नमेंटের পাবলিকের আমার অনেক আশা এবং অলমোস্ট আই होप ইউ ক্যান নেভার বি সার্টেন অফ এনিথিং কিন্তু খুব আশা যে এই বাংলাদেশে অফ কোর্স ইলেকশন হবে এবং ইলেকশন ডিসেম্বরে হবে কিংবা ডিসেম্বরের আগে হবে উই আর ফেয়ারলি কনফিডেন্ট অ্যাবাউট দ্যাট উই होप দ্যাট ইজ এক্স্যাক্টলি হোয়াট হ্যাপেন্স বাট পিপল হ্যাভ টু রাইজ টু দি অ্যাকেশন ইউ নো ইটস নট এ ওয়ান অর্গানাইজেশন ওয়ান সেক্টর একজনে সব কিছু পারবে না আপনি ওর সাপোর্ট যদি না পায় কেয়ারটেকার গভর্নমেন্ট পলিটিক্যাল পার্টিস ইলেকশন কমিশন সিভিল সার্ভিস এরা সব যদি আপনার এক জিনিস না চায় একজনে আরজনের এগেনস্টে কাজ করে এতে আপনার খুব খুব মুশকিল হয়ে যায় যে কোনো মানুষের লাগে আনোয়ার চৌধুরী ইউ আর টকিং অ্যাবাউট লট অফ চ্যালেঞ্জেস বিফোর বাংলাদেশ রেঞ্জিং ফ্রম পলিটিক্স সোশিও ইকোনমিক অ্যান্ড স্পেশালি ক্লাইমেট চেঞ্জ অ্যান্ড দিস uh is a very crucial uh experience for bangladesh especially after the uh, uh cedar uh, affected bangladesh yes. badly uh, yes. in november last november so uh, we heard that the british government from your side you organized some of the um, uh, programs uh, some of uh, taken some of the steps uh, to help and stand by bangladesh to fight the such uh, yeah. uh, prepare uh, yeah, yes, yeah, prepare bangladesh so yeah. but what are the measures you are going to uh, undertake and to stand by bangladesh specifically if you can say something well we appreciate that bangladesh is facing um a a special problem uh, where uh, it's getting the problem from both sides you've got the melting himalayas uh, as the as the globe warms up more ice will turn to water will come through bangladesh and you've got the rising of the bay of bengal now um you know this is not going to happen overnight it's going to happen over the next 50 years so the uh, the the hopeful thing is that it's going to be a very slow increment allowing you to adapt but if you don't act if we don't act together then this problem will reach a stage where it will become uh, unmanageable so bangladesh itself has taken uh, some uh, very good leadership roles mm-hmm. in the international arena uh, it has a moral case Mm-hmm. say because it is becoming affected uh, essentially uh, by uh, pollutions which it wasn't responsible yes, for as, yeah. a, as a country and we we empathize with that uh, but we also um, say look if you don't take action if you just stay and and just complain then that doesn't help uh, anybody uh, we uh, Uh, on the other side of defense uh, uh, are doing our best to put in resources to help countries adopt and so forth and bangladesh we see as a as a partner we are going to we put in an extra 30 million or 60 million dollars uh, in 30 to 60 million dollars uh, sorry 30 million pounds which ah. is 60 million dollars okay. yeah um into the climate change fund mm. now my appeal to you is to use it wisely use it as part of development this could be an opportunity where that extra money can be used to transform bangladesh and solve some of that infrastructure problem uh, that needed solving anyway how, how how the money will be disbursed well that is up to bangladesh okay uh, how you how you do it we are thinking of setting up a special fund where uh, ngos private sector and the government can draw from we want to make sure that people who are doing the work have access to the funds uh directly and without the bureaucracy that's the idea um so we're going for this fund which will be run by the bangladeshi government but we hope do you find that bangladesh government has enough uh, preparation or enough uh, uh, uh programs to utilize such a foreign aid to uh, confront climate change situation? i think it has if it puts its mind together and it's not matter of just this government this government goes in 7 8 months yeah. it is the political government that that is coming who need to understand this and uh, started start creating a vision and a delivery program but the thing to do with this money is to dredge the rivers okay you're going to have to do that climate change or no climate change yeah. those rivers needs to be dredged okay they need to be deeper carry more water you need to build houses for for people that can stand up to in coastal uh, belts especially in coastal belts you need to build an embankment okay infrastructure led uh, solution you could go over to a power solution the the country is in a power crisis at the moment you don't have enough gas because yeah. you haven't explored uh, you don't have enough power generated because of well essentially corruption um and bad governance meant that you could not generate 
uh, the, the, the power uh, that you require, the energy power sector, was in turmoil. Uh, and power you can't do overnight. It takes seven, eight years to build a power station. Okay, uh, So that's the minimum time. Now, you could have an alternative vision and say that we are not going to be able, as you probably won't be, to, s to supply all that power through conventional means, through coal and gas. So why not go for the solar cell? approach okay yeah and that's what we're doing in some of our development projects so every house in the village has a solar cell it costs uh, 27,000 30,000 tackers Taka, yeah. it gives you lights uh, four lights that can run all night you can run a TV uh, from it in fact I I visited Chittagong Hill tracks oh, really? where I saw these oh they, you know people when you give them choices that's what they do they put a solar cell on their on their house now we want that sort of thinking now solar energy is clean and it's free you don't need power stations. It's pollution free. free it's from the, from the sun. Yeah, mm -hmm. pollution free, money free, mm -hmm. um, and it's immediate and you have control. So that sort of visionary thinking uh, can be done and applied. Thinking about vision is, is easy making it work. But where from the vision, the actions will be formulated? From the is government, it from you. From, it has to be Bangladesh's. You know, this government is interim, Kataka government is uh, well, prime. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter whether interim or political. What matters is the capacity of the, of the delivery of the people, mm. or of the administration. Um, so when a political government returns, you need to be sure that the capacity is something better than before. Uh, the capacity was not that good anywhere along the Bangladeshi's history. Okay, uh, so mm. it's not a matter of this government, that government. Mm. There is a systematic problem mm. of increasing delivery, uh, and not just reports and talk. And, but you need to take charge of your own future. You need to tell donors, we don't want this, we want that. This is your development program, not ours. We give you the money; it's free. From UK, there's, it's, you don't pay it back; it's free money. Okay, it's a grant. You need to take charge and say, I want to do this, and then get it done. You, you mentioned that one of the major challenges before us is our food security also, food, yes. uh, food problem. So yes. uh, cu current uh, situation, everybody will understand the where it is heading towards. So uh, how um, uh, you can uh, help us or assist us in to uh, confront or into uh, meet the challenge? Well, there's two sides to the food issue, as I understand it. Uh, one is genuine shortage of food, and the other is the image of the shortage. Uh, in other words, the price is uh, skyrocketing at this moment. Yes, not because there isn't enough rice. It's because the market is moving that way. Uh, you, you see it happening right across the world. A um, few days ago, there were disturbances in Haiti on food prices in Sri Lanka. So there's an international uh, food price rising that is affecting Bangladesh. But there are things that is in Bangladesh uh, that needs to also be sorted out. Um, one of it is cr making sure you don't create a panic. If you create a panic, uh, it, the problem only gets worse. So, yeah. Yes. Uh, and that won't be anything to do with the supply. That's just market panic. Um, so you need to be guarded against that. And then you need to make sure that um, all the money that is there, that you buy as much rice as possible from the outside. There's shortage everywhere. Um, I would recommend, uh, for what it's worth, that the private sector is allowed to help the government to procure. Uh, I think that is happening, but more of that needs to happen. Uh, enable your private sector to do your buying, your, your, your market sort of, um, get the markets to work through them. So, and then you've got mm -hmm. other things that are coming that will help you. The borrow crop should be here within five or six uh, months. But there's a strategic problem of food. You are now 150 million people. You will become 200 million people mm -hmm. in, in another 20, 30 years. How are you going to feed? You know, this is not a, a, a tactical, political, it's a strategic yeah. issue that needs to be thought about properly. How are you going to increase the yield for this very limited land you have? And uh, You really need to look at alternative solutions for food generation and increasing its its production. Excellency, you, you are leaving Bangladesh uh, after completion of your four-year term. Yes. So uh, before leaving, uh, what is your feeling about Bangladesh? Will you miss this country as a Bangladeshi-born British diplomat? Uh, I'll miss it immensely. And. Um, you know, since it's only a few days ago that everybody found out that I, I, I need to move on uh, to my next job now. 
and the the amount of emails that are coming in, letters, phone calls, you know, it's very touching, and it's it's going to be extremely difficult to leave leave this country, even for a normal uh, sort of diplomat who doesn't have this special connection. For me, it's going to be heartbreaking. There's no doubt about that. But I'm not really leaving, as, as I've said. I'll stay connected with you uh, through many channels and you know my career looks as though it's going to be in, in diplomacy for, the, for, 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 for many years to come yet uh, so I will see you in, in, in all of those areas but I you know I'm an immensely optimistic individual some of that is based on just personality you know my own sort of psychology is optimistic but some of it is based on hard evidence facts. Yeah, and yeah. facts and do you have any I, regrets about uh, staying in Bangladesh? Any any kind of regrets? Absolutely not. I would. You uh, had been attacked in uh, Silet just after arriving in Bangladesh. Terrorists, uh, terrorists uh, attack. Uh, attack you, yeah. no matter who you are. They kill children. They they killed people without caring whether you are a good person, bad person, whether you are Muslim, Hindu, Christian. It doesn't matter. This is something that good people will always stand up to. If you have a different view, our approach is to persuade, okay, not to alter people's minds through uh, through killing. So, and we stood up to that. It would have been easy to run away. And part of the affection I think I have with the Bangladeshi people and Bangladeshi people for me is that the fact that we we stood up. We didn't run away, and that is not the way we will uh, do our business. Um, and people, I think, uh, appreciate that. And these people now have been arrested. They're going through the judicial process. And that's the way, uh, way it should be. When a crime is committed, you, you the go after should them, be brought and, into justice. and justice is allowed to, to do its work. You know that in the past few years, Bangladesh has started to do a lot of work. And the first time, 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 the first Bengali lokra bolle, amader takia onek beshi jen apnar justice apnar shobel lagi shoman hoyte hoy. Due process without fear or favor, okay? Jen kono difference nai ker 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 jen. Eita jodi maintain na kora hoy, ar ekta conviction ashe. Tei conviction ta apnar active na. Eita kyo manbe na, eita apnar right hobe na, eita lasting hobe na. So it's very important jen jodi apnar ker Accused here, take no charge. Netri ho in Arab ne ordinary locate, the due process to maintain, maintain kora. It amda Bishash Kori and Asha Kori amda in principle we've applied. Uh, maybe give you an example. Agent Amaru Prejan Hamla Shilo. Amda Shopshama maintain Kosi. I mean, it was a very close thing, agent. Yeah. Uh, due process to Abner Kub important genesis in the long term, which in the short term gain Jen Abner Power Jai. Process na follow kore. Eta apna only short term. Kito ekta ekhon deshe jorori avastha cholche apni janen. Ebang jorori avasthar modhe onik human rights bolen onik fundamental rights has been curbed or duly curbed under emergency law. So apni ekta ei puri borton gulor modhe manusheri odhikar gulor manobadikar gulor kibabe shangroki to hote pare ekti jorori avasthar moto poristhiti the. Human rights are one type of human rights. Emergency under the press freedom, the right to protest, the right to demonstrate, Egula has come under a lot of pressure. And that is unfortunate. And that's why we want the emergency to be lifted as soon as possible. Because it is not good. You can't, you can't have a general improvement uh, on the human rights front if you've got a, a state of emergency going. So that, that is accepted. But during this time, we've also seen some improvements from where we were in 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, we statistics that we have seen in the NGO. We have seen that the political look is going to protect us from a, uh, human rights abuses. Mm -hmm. Aro apnar praitish jon from alleged alleged extrajudicial incidents. 
এখন কো আপনার এই ফিগারগুলা জি ক্রস ফায়ার এগুলা এখন কো অনেক কমে আসছে যে এই সমান অর্গানাইজেশন স্ট্যাটিস্টিক্স পেলে চাই না পলিটিক্যাল কিলিংস এই 2006 এর 31 ছিল এখন কো বোধহয় চাইড পাস আমরা যা দেখি যা টু মেনি একজন লোক ইজ টু মেনি কারণ একটা লাইফ আপনার কিছু কোনোভাবে আপনার কিছু ইম্প্রুভমেন্ট দেখতেছি বাট নট ইনাফ কোনোভাবে আপনার ওয়ার্স সিচুয়েশন কারণ ইমার্জেন্সি হওয়া মানুষের বেসিক ফ্রিডমগুলো এফেক্ট হয়েছে অ্যান্ড দিস ইজ ওয়াই উই সাপোর্ট দ্য লিফটিং অফ দ্য ইমার্জেন্সি সুন এর ইজ প্র্যাকটিক্যাল দে হ্যাভ টু ওয়ে এই যে লো এন্ড অর্ডার যে আপনার একটা কনসিডারেশন আছে এইটারে আপনার ওয়ে করেন লাগে উইথ উইথ দ্য ইমার্জেন্সি ইমার্জেন্সি রুলস বাট দ্যাট ইজ আ ডিসিশন আ প্র্যাকটিক্যাল ডিসিশন দ্যাট নিজ টু বি টেকেন বাট ফার ইজ মাই কান্ট্রি ইজ কনসার্ন উই উড appreciate appreciate as a friend and 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 as a believer in human rights the emergency to be lifted as soon as possible bangladesher kon jinish ta apnar sobche beshi bhalo legeche kon ta apnake beshi touch koreche move koreche manush of course ar ar ki hobe bangladesher manush um bangladesher um gaan folk folk music bangladesher khana um uh, ar ki uh, বাংলাদেশের আমি কালচারের কথা কিছু মাতিছি কয়েকটা জিনিস আছে ইম্প্রুভ হওয়ার পসিবিলিটি কিন্তু কোনো কোনো কালচারটা আপনার খুব খুব ভালো জি খুব ভালো যে বাংলাদেশের মানুষের অ্যাফেকশনটা ওদের সেন্স অফ হিউমার হসপিটালিটি ওদের জেনারসিটি ইনো এই এইগুলা সে অ্যান্ড দিস ইজ এর জন্য সবই আপনার আমি সবসময় বলি যে আপনার দুনিয়াত অনেক ফ্রেন্ড আপনারা বিশ্বাস করবেন না আপনার কীভাবে ফ্রেন্ড আছে দুনিয়াত কারণ সবে চাই বাংলাদেশের মানুষের আগবাইতে এটা একটা আমার আউট অফ কিউরিয়াসিটি মানে এই আপনি আপনারা সবসময় বলছেন যে বাংলাদেশের বন্ধুত্ব বন্ধুর অভাব নেই অভাব নেই সবাই খুব কনসার্ন আমাদের ভালোর জন্য তারা কথা বলছেন চিন্তা করছেন কারণ বাংলাদেশের মানুষের ভালো হয় একটু কি ওভার এন্থুজিয়াস্টিক মনে হয় কি আপনার কাছে কখনো যে বিদেশিদের আগ্রহকে অনেকে একটু ইন্টারপ্রেটেড করতে চান যে অতি আগ্রহের মধ্যে পড়ে যায় বিষয়টা বাংলাদেশ থেকে কেন এত বাংলাদেশ সম্পর্কে আগ্রহ হবে কারণ আমরা চাই না যে নেক্সট এটা কি এর পভার্টি অথবা এর কোনো কিছু পভার্টি কারণ যে সময় আপনার টেলিভিশন দেখা যায় যে মানুষই আপনার সাফারিং করতেছে সাইক্লোনের পরে কিংবা আপনার আর কোনো দুর্নীতি পরে যে একটা কানেকশন আছে কিন্তু মাস মিডিয়া দুনিয়া তো সবসময় এক ঘন্টার ভিতরে আপনার সব কিছু দেখা যায় এই একটা এক্সট্রা অ্যাফেকশন আছে নাইনটিন সেভেন্টি ওয়ানে যে সময় আপনার দেশটা ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট হয় এই সময় একটা এক্সট্রা ফিলিং ছিল বাংলাদেশের জন্য এই ফিলিংটা রয়ে গেছে মানুষের এবং আমরা চাই না যেন এই যে পনেরো কোটি মানুষ পনেরো কোটি মানুষ যেন আপনার এই উইথ হাই পোটেনশিয়াল খালি মানুষ নাই উইথ হাই পোটেনশিয়াল গুড পিপল সবাই চাই যেন এই লোকরা আপনার আগ্রহীত একদিন আপনার দুনিয়াতে একটা বড় প্লেয়ার হইতো কারণ এটা মাইনি হইল না যে ও বড় হইলে আমি নিচে হইতে হইবে এই এরকম দুনিয়া চলে না আজকাল এটা এটা রং পাবো না যে আপনার বাংলাদেশ আগ্রহীলে আমি যেন পিছিয়ে করে লাম তৈরি হবে আমরা একসাথে কারণ দুনিয়া একসাথে আগ্রহীতেছে বুঝছেন আপনার এই ইভেন এই জাপান অ্যান্ড চায়না চায়না আগে জাপান যে করলাম সেটা নাই চায়না যে আগে জাপান কিবা ইন্ডিয়া আগে যে আপনার চায়না করলাম তো হবে দেখতেছেন আমেরিকা আগেছে মাইনি হইলে না আপনার ইন্ডোনেশিয়া করলাম তো হবে দিস ইজ দ্য রং মডেল আচ্ছা ওকে আজকালকের দুনিয়া যদি আপনার ইফ ইউ গেট ইট রাইট উই ক্যান রাইজ টুগেদার অ্যান্ড দিস ইজ হোয়াট ইজ হ্যাপনিং দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড ইজ গেটিং বেটার রিচার অল দি টাইম অ্যান্ড ইট ইজ পসিবল টু get this win win so it jinn amra mone kori je bangladesh e apnar jen jodi agoy amra agoy bo karon amra trade barbo amra relationship ta barbo region ta stable hobe so quite hard policy kali apnar diler kotha nai hard economic uh, social policy reasons why we want bangladesh to do well stabler region richer bangladesh more trade more people to people link mm-hmm. um, and you know uh, just a better world 150 million people also to be very frankly yeah, yeah, apna, of course ekta uh, uh, criticism ache samaje ba bibhinno stori bola hoy je je amader diplomatra amader obhontorin bishoy niye kotha bolen beshi beshi charcha koren eta hoyto onno kono deshe diplomatic norms standard practice er modhe hoyto beyond of that parameter eta ki apni kibhabe jinish ta ke dekhen eta shoyto noy ek ekta problem ache ekta problem hoylo jen এই দেশের মিডিয়া আপনারা আপনি আপনারা খুব ভাইব্রান্ট অনেক সময় আমরা নর্মাল বিজনেস যাই ওই একজনের সাথে মিটিং আছে এইটা আমার দেশে হইতেছে লন্ডন 
আপনার হাই কমিশনার যাইতেছেন ফরেন অফিসার প্রত্যেক সপ্তাহ মিডিয়া সেখানে যাচ্ছে না এখানে মিডিয়া যাচ্ছে না কারণ ওরা ইন্টারেস্টেড ইন डिफरेंट থিংস ওকে আমরা আমাদের মিডিয়া এবং আমাদের পাবলিক ইজ ইন্টারেস্টেড ইন डिफरेंट থিংস যে আপনারা আমরা সব সময় ফলো করেন আমরা এটা মাইন্ড করি না কিন্তু কোন সময় আমরা লাগিও প্রবলেম হয় এটা খালি এক কোন নয় আমরা আমরা এটা কোন সময় খুব কনসার্ন ফিল করি কারণ আমরা একটা আমরা জব করতে চাই উইদাউট উইদাউট ইন্টারফেরেন্স ফ্রম মিডিয়া ওর গেটিং দি রং ইমপ্রেশন আমরা লাগিও এটা ভালো নয় কিন্তু কোন সময় এই মিডিয়ার রিলেশনশিপটারে আপনার রংভাবে বোঝার নেই রংভাবে আপনার ইন্টারপ্রেট করা হয় আপনারা হইলেন ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট দেশ আমরা কোনো কিছু এখানে না ইন্টারফিয়ার করা এবং আমরা করতে চাইও না কী ইন্টারফিয়ার করবো আপনাদের সাথে কোনো আপনার যেন অবভিয়াস কনফ্লিক্টিং ইন্টারেস্টও ইন্টারেস্টও নাই এবং এজ এ এজ এ ডিপ্লোমাট আমার জব হইল গিয়া যে আপনার দেশে আর আমার দেশের রিলেশনশিপটা ভালো করার জন্য ভালো করা ভালো করা দিস ইজ ওয়াই গেট ফেইড টু ডু এটা হইলো গিয়ে আমার চাকরি যে আমি মনে করি না এই ক্রিটিসিজমটা অ্যাকচুয়ালি ফেয়ার করি আর আমি আমি মনে করি যেন এটা মিসআন্ডারস্ট্যান্ডিং করা এই যে আপনার যে এইটা এই যে ইন্টারভিউটা আছে এই এই ইন্টারভিউটা আপনি কীভাবে দেখবেন এটা ইন্টারফিয়ারেন্স না আপনি আমার ইন্টারভিউ করতেছেন কারণ একটা পাবলিক ইন্টারেস্ট আছে পাবলিক ইন্টারেস্ট আছে রাইট তো এটা আপনি বলেন না কেন আচ্ছা আরেকটা বিষয় আপনি অনেক এখন তো আপনি চলে যাচ্ছেন কিন্তু আপনার জন্ম আপনার আপনার ফ্যামিলি তো এখানে থাকে না বোধ হয় তারা না আমার তো সব লন্ডন আমার সবাই যে সব তো তাদের সঙ্গে আপনার বাংলাদেশের যোগাযোগটা এরপরে আপনি যখন চলে যাবেন না অফিসিয়ালি আপনি দায়িত্ব পালন করেছেন যখন চলে যাবেন তখন বাংলাদেশের সঙ্গে যোগাযোগটা আপনার কেমন থাকবে কোন পর্যায়ে থাকবে আর কাজের থ্রুতে থাকবে কারণ আপনি তো আগে তো কয়েছে আমার আন্ডারে আপনার ইউএনএর রিলেশনশিপ কমনওয়েলথ এর থ্রুতে আমার নিশ্চয় বাংলাদেশের লগে একটা কানেকশন থাকে এবং ডেমোক্রেসি হিউম্যান রাইটস টিম ও এগুলো আমার আন্ডার এতে আপনার এভাবেও আমি আপনার কাজের থ্রুতে অনেক লিঙ্কিস থাকে আমার <laughs> আমি জানি যে আপনি বাংলাদেশের ফোক মিউজিকের অনেক বড় ভক্ত শাহ আব্দুল করিমের গান বোধ আপনি তো আপনি কিভাবে শাহ আব্দুল করিমের গান গানের ভক্ত কিভাবে হলেন ডিফিকাল্ট টু এক্সপ্লেন আমি এই শাহ আব্দুল করিমের গান এই দেশে আওয়ার পরে অনেক আই স্টার্টেড লিসনিং অ্যান্ড আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড লন্ডনে থাকা অবস্থা শোনে না হতে একটা হতে একটা শোনে না কিন্তু এই যে শাহ আব্দুল করিম বা ফোক মিউজিক স্পেশালি আব্দুল করিমের আপনার কথাগুলা আমি মনে করি যে এই বাঙালি যে আপনার একটা হৃদয় কিংবা একটা হার্ট আছে এই হার্টটার এক্সপ্লেন করে খুব ভালোভাবে যে ওরা ট্রু ফিলিংস যে কীভাবে মানুষরা আমরা এই যে আমরা বাঙালি জাতটা কীরকম এই ফিলিংটারে খুব খুব দৃষ্টিভঙ্গি এবং এবং খুব এক্সপ্রেসিভভাবে আপনার যোগ করা যায় যেন বোঝা যায় আর বাংলাদেশের বাঙালি মানুষের ওর কালচার ওর আপনার হোপস অ্যান্ড ড্রিমস ওর দুঃখ এইগুলাটা আপনার শাহ আব্দুল করিমের থ্রুতে আমি যা বুঝতে পারছি কিংবা এঙ্গেজ হইতে পারছি অন্য অন্য গায়ক কিংবা অন্য আপনার পয়েটের থ্রুতে এই অ্যাক্সেসটা মিলছে এর জন্য এর জন্য আই বিকেম এ বিগ ফ্যান অফ দিস ইন্ডিভিজন আই থিঙ্ক অলসো আই জেনুইনলি থিঙ্ক আই লিসন টু লট অফ মিউজিক ইউ নো ওয়েস্টার্ন মিউজিক রক ক্লাসিক কোয়ালিজ গাজল আই লিসন টু এভরিথিং অ্যান্ড আই আই ক্যান টেল ইউ ফ্রম ফ্রম মাই হাম্বল ওপিনিয়ন দি কোয়ালিটি অফ দিস ম্যানস থিঙ্কিং অ্যান্ড লিরিক্স অ্যান্ড দি শিয়ার জিনিয়াস লিভিং লেজেন ইয়েস আবসলুটলি ইটস 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 ভেরি ভেরি রেয়ার অ্যান্ড কম্পারেটিভলি um you know i think he's absolutely outstanding and that's why i've been promoting his music and i know now all of bangladesh you know mm. one of my happiest feelings mm. is that um, i know a lot of people in dhaka uh, now listen to shabdul listen Karim, to shabdul and they know i I'm, i'm a big fan and it has helped a little bit to bring him out mm-hmm. and you know that's a huge uh, you know what you can you can do a lot of things in work you know and work comes and goes but it's these small things you remember now if i uh, i feel very happy that i've introduced 
uh, or help to introduce this man to other people who may gain the same sort of pleasure I got and the understanding I got out of Bangladesh through this Just lyric to Judy Shuntepariki, Unarakta Ganer Kotha, Duchal line, Kotha Judipolin. Keith Horner lyric. Um, actually, it's difficult to pick. Um, I don't know um, which one to pick. There's, there's just so many, and I would have to think about it. That one, for example, you see, that is a very important song. Age kid in Hindu Muslim man. Gramin no Jewan. Gramin no Jewan Hindu Muslim man. It talks about or lyric kula jen ager jen ekta din chilo jen amra chinta kortam na ami Hindu ki Muslim man ke hoy bo member ke hoy bo chairman e gulay chinta kortam ek jate milia jen life re kathai tam ekta shundor ekta din nebong without conflict. Eta tar express kroi chhe mon babe jen e ganta e ganta shunle bujha jaye jay ekta Bangladesh amra jahraiye chhi e Bangladesh na abar firo e Bangladesh na abar abar paybo ni kina e question mark ta ashe jikinte e ekta desh amra de amader ekta desh chilo je e babe e desh ta kutai gulo je for example that shesh prosno Bangladesh e onik jaga nishto kya chen kon jaga ta apna sab chhe beshi bhalo lagye chhe erkom bhalo lagye chhe kon jaga I mean, people are orientated. Look, I mean, our jagatse, our manushre dekhi. Manushke bichhe. Manushke, manushke pasand kore bichhe. Kaksa baja shundra bang. Amar balo lagse, amar shop jagat. Joto jagat gaye, amar kumil lagye, si chilet gaye, si chida gaye, si bogra gaye, si racha gaye, si pray shop jagat gaye. Kintu ami pay si jen Bangladesh manushra pray. एक रखो में एवं outstanding और अमाल लोगे जो एक टा special एक टा relationship टा चिलो ये एक टा treasurable जिनेच किन्तु देखते चिड़ा कौन कुबल लग से चिड़ा कौन के potential टा कुबल है चिड़ा कौन के look रो कुब अशुभ बल है वरा कुब बालो का एवं कुब बालो अपना कुब generous look है कुब generous जी सिलेटी look रो शोभाने ये पाबे एवं और engagement टा कुब कुब close ये city टा आशा करिए आमी एक दिन कुब बड़ो एक टा world city होते पार भी चिड़ा कौन जी कारण उन्हें उन्हें potential आसे port आसे अपना चिड़गंग hill tracks है scenery ओ कुब शुंदर beach आसे जी मानुष्य ओ कुब industrial industrious thank you very much his excellency for being on thank you thank you dear viewers mr anwar chaudhuri he is not only a respectable diplomat of higher seat with noble vision and commitment towards the development of uk and indeed of this country of course, the relations between Bangladesh and Britain are deep-rooted both historically and culturally. Nearly half a million Bangladesh immigrants settled in UK reflect the bond and recognition of dependable bilateral ties. UK is the key development partners of Bangladesh, contributing some 80 million to 1 billion pounds per annum in development sector. At this time, British investment is nearly 1 billion pounds or so. British investments uh, in this country, both in government and corporate sectors, are manifold. We hope, we believe, and we are sure that even after Mr. Anwar Chaudhary's departure, the outgoing High Commissioner of UK, uh, that will immensely, he will immensely engage to the task of building even closer ties between our two people and the two nations. We wish him every success in his assignment, and we invite you to watch our next episode. Until then, do take care and bye-bye.